Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a topic that is crucial for those on dealing with diaphragm paralysis due to phrenic nerve damage or palsy. It is indeed a challenging condition, but fortunately there are various treatments available. In this video we will be exploring some of the key approaches to manage and treat diaphragm paralysis. So let's get started. The first line of treatment often involves medical interventions. This may include medications aimed at addressing the underlying causes of phrenic nerve damage. For example, if the paralysis is a result of nerve compression or inflammation, then anti-inflammatory drugs may be prescribed. Your primary care physician is your go-to specialist for initial assessments and medication prescriptions. Another innovative approach is diaphragm pacing. This involves the use of a device that electrically stimulates the diaphragm, essentially mimicking the natural signals from the phrenic nerve. For consultations and procedures related to diaphragm pacing, consider reaching out to a pulmonologist. In more severe cases, surgical interventions may be considered. One of the options is phrenic nerve reconstruction, where damaged or injured segments of the phrenic nerve is repaired. Another surgical approach is diaphragm plication, a procedure that involves tightening of the diaphragm to improve its function. Consult with a thoracic surgeon for expert advice on surgical options. Rehabilitation plays a crucial role in the overall treatment plan. Physical therapy and respiratory exercises can help strengthen the diaphragm and improve the lung function. Techniques such as breathing exercises and chest wall exercises are commonly employed to enhance respiratory muscle strength and endurance. Connect with a physical therapist for personalized rehabilitation programs. Additionally, supportive measures are essential for managing diaphragm paralysis. This may involve lifestyle modifications such as avoiding factors that exacerbate the respiratory symptoms. Weight management and smoking cessation, if applicable, can also contribute to better respiratory health. In conclusion, the treatment of diaphragm paralysis involves a multifaceted approach. From medical interventions and diaphragm pacing, to surgical procedures and rehabilitation. It's crucial to involve specialists like your primary healthcare physician, pulmonologist, and thoracic surgeon. The goal is to enhance respiratory function and improve the quality of life for individuals facing this challenging condition. If you found this video informative, do not forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on health and well-being.